I'll see you guys in 2023. For more local stories, keep watching LX News. Love you. Have a good day. Behave yourself. Like she goes to work at 3 in the afternoon and sometimes gets off at midnight. She works a lot. A whole lot. We don't get to eat in the early morning. We just wait till we get to the school. So, yeah. Right now, here in America, Millions of kids like Victoria and Andre live with hunger, and the need to help them has never been greater. When you join your friends, neighbors, and me to support No Kid Hungry, you'll help hungry kids get the food they need. If we want to take care of our children, then we have to feed them. Your gift of just 63 cents a day, only $19 a month at helpnokidhungry.org right now, will help provide healthy meals and hope. We want our children to grow and thrive and to just not have to worry and face themselves with the struggles that we endure. Nobody wants that for their children. Like if these programs didn't exist, me and AJ, we wouldn't probably get lunch at all. Please call or go online right now with your gift of just $19 a month. And when you use your credit card, you'll receive this limited edition t-shirt to show you're part of the team that's helping feed kids and change lives. If you're coming in hungry, there's no way you can listen to me teach, do this activity, work with this group. So starting their day with breakfast and ending their day with this big, beautiful snack is pretty incredible. Whether kids are learning at school or at home, your support will ensure they get the healthy meals they need to thrive. Because when you help feed kids, you feed their hopes, their dreams, and futures. Kids need you now more than ever. So please call this number right now to join me in helping hungry kids or go online to helpnokidhungry.org and help feed hungry kids today. For more stories on social justice, keep watching LX News. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for watching LX News Now. My name is Nick Z. And I'm Ashley Holt. We appreciate you stopping by. Nick, this is the final show of 2022. <sighs> That's what they tell us. Any fond memories working with me? Uh, working with you? <laughs> Where do I even start? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Do we have 34 minutes? You're stalling. Nothing? He's got nothing. Every single day I work. There we you. go. How about that? We'll go. We'll get that on the record and clip it later. I'll all ask right. you that same question later. Yeah, I'll think of something. But we're going to get to all the fun just a little bit later. We do have things to get down to, and that mm -hmm. is our LX top three stories of the day, starting with the calm before another storm after a chaotic week. Southwest flights finally taking off as scheduled, but another storm is looming this time out west. Yeah, that's right. And after an extensive legal battle, Democrats finally getting their wish. Six years of President Donald Trump's former President Donald Trump's returns are officially public, sparking questions about the handling of his finances and a seemingly agitated response from the former president himself, as you can imagine. Yeah, plus the suspect of the murder of four University of Idaho students is now in custody, but he was found nowhere near the scene of the crime. Now he awaits a judge's decision on whether to extradite him back to Idaho, where he'll be charged with four counts of first degree murder. Yeah, that's right. And the man you see here is who police say may have been behind those murders last month. His name is Brian Christopher Koberger. Police managed to track him down in a northeastern area of Pennsylvania. And while this is considered a major break in the case, police are saying the job is still far from done. This is not the end of this investigation. In fact, this is a new beginning. 